Good morning, Mike and Arlen, our Philippine journey. Hey, thanks for joining us. Well, I knew it was going to happen sooner or later. I, I, I just knew it was going to happen, and it needed to happen. I just wasn't wanting it to happen, but it did. Arlen decided to paint the condo. So, this is a video. You'll see Arlen. You're going to see the rest of the condo. It'll be all messed up because we're painting, and then you'll see the final product. But there are some things that you should know as we go into this. So let's talk about it. I never got it what you had to go. I guess this world's too slow for you. I think there's beauty in the gray, the cold, but you just want the gold. And there's no way I can beat it because I got no chance, no chance when it comes to her. She got the glitter and the fame and I, I just wasn't enough. All right. So we have a condo here in Angeles City. Philippines. It's in a tower. We bought the condo. We moved in in 2020. Two days later, a huge typhoon. We caught the tail end of it. Uh, typhoon Raleigh hit. All right. Since then, we've had uh, three earthquakes. Um, of those three earthquakes, uh, I think we slept through one, and the other two, I was sitting at my desk, and we watched the lights, the chandeliers move. Nothing major by any way, shape, or means. We didn't have any buildings in town that fell. But if you know anything about Philippine construction, it is not steel, mortar, and brick. It is steel cement, all right, and then hollow block or center block. So the internal walls are rough. They're very rough, you know, you, you've seen that, what center block is like, hollow block. So they do what they call skim coat. Skim coat is what we would call in the West plaster. It's a form of plaster, okay? They skim coat the walls and smooth them down and all is nice if they do it the right way and that isn't always the case we had rough spots we had places where they barely covered it and then they paint over it they paint the whole thing afterwards and of course it's builder grade paint so our unit was already completed we were able to upgrade furniture, but we were not able to upgrade paint and a few other things. So we knew we didn't want the flat white walls, but it was going to happen. Now, it does have accent walls, one of which you see behind me. All right. The others you'll see in just a little bit. But it is what it is. So Arlen decides she's going to paint the wall. She wants, she's tired of it. This builder grade paint is terrible. It gets filthy dirty and you can't wash anything off of it. I mean, you just can't clean it without scrubbing it and removing the paint itself. I said, okay, well, no problem, honey. We've been through this before. Arlen and I and a buddy of mine actually painted the interior, entire interior of a 5,000 square foot custom home we had in Arizona. So she's been this route. So I said to Arlen, hey, look, honey, I'm gonna do this, we're gonna do it my way. She sat down, she looked at me, and she goes, no, I'll do it. I said, honey, if you're gonna do it, I'm going to step away. I'm going to let you do it your way. And that's what I did. 
Now, of course, I helped her with some stuff, but not much. Honestly, not much. And I got to tell you, the end product, I can't complain with. She did patch cracks in the skim coat from the earthquakes. She did patch cracks from just shitty skim coat. She did sand down skim coat, smoothed out the walls. And they did a great job painting. So let's take a look and see what we've got here. So I snuck in on Arlen and kind of took a look here to see, all right, what are you up to? And you can see she's trimmed out, patched, and got everything ready. Now, a couple of things you might want to know. Our unit is 120 square meters. Two bedrooms, two baths, all right? Um, along with that, it uh, sell recently a unit with less upgrades than ours sold here for right at 9.5 million pesos or $179,000. So by the time you pay fees and everything that goes along with that, documents, documentation, everything, right at 10 million. Um, so that's about all there really is to it now you're going to notice there's pictures hanging on the walls that she painted around there's a reason for that and i hate to tell you what it is but i guess i need to many of the photos the smaller photos they're not hung on the walls no uh-uh they didn't do that instead what they did was they glued them to the walls and since I wasn't prepared to buy more photos at this time and change out all the art. I had to just pretty much paint around them. But you can see she's hard at work. So she covered the floor, she taped off everything, she got everything done. I mean, I, there's nothing here I can complain about for sure. Um, so this is kind of like where we are here in the master bedroom so i thought i'd put this in here to give you some perspective that's a california king bed uh, it's a lazy boy recliner with a cover over it right now all right that's a 65 inch tv to give you some perspective of size that's all that this is for so this is the central living area just had some basic trim done in it that again to give you some perspective that's another 65 inch um, high def t uh, OLED uh, TV and a um, nine foot Western couch that's a steel frame um, with springs and real cushions so to give you some perspective uh, on size okay so we're in the master bedroom and uh, as you can see our Lynn has already attacked it we're going to paint the walls or actually our Lynn is going to paint the walls so I made a deal with her. I would help her paint if she would do it the way I want to do it. Guess what? She said, ah, I'll do it myself. I don't like the way you want to do it. Well, okay. But I still help her a little bit, but it's good. So she spent yesterday kind of patching stuff and this morning we're going to be taking stuff out of the room she picked up her supplies she's doing everything all of it so let's see what happens next but now i gotta help her move the tv so this went from let's paint the bedroom 
to let's paint everything we can get our hands on. I have all this paint. <laughs> and so Arlene and I made a deal. Of course you can, honey. You can paint it, it what, however you want. But let's go through that real imperative word, you. You can paint it. I don't mind it the way it is, but I'll deal with it. No, I want the paint in a different color. Okay. So here we sit, and uh, everything's a mess, and I apologize for that. But you know how it is, because we weren't even planning on painting this room. Actually, we were going to paint this room, our master bedroom, which is another mess. And if I show you the room, Arlene will be mad because I didn't make the bed and I was taking a little nap laying down. But it's all relative, I guess. Um, Arlene, is this your handmade mixture? Of yeah. paint? Uh -huh. Yeah? Yeah. How did you measure it out? I didn't measure. I just mixed the flip over paint. So you mixed paint. all of it at, at once? Yeah. Not a little bit, you know, three or four cups at a time? Oh, that's good. So no. you don't have to mix it. So we had a... Uh, well... We won't even say. We had what? Well, we had a leftover gallon of the gray. Uh, white. A oh, white. And then we added the, a leftover about half a gallon of gray. A quarter. A quarter. Uh, to make it a different shade because you can see this accent wall back here, which is textured. We didn't want to deal with right now. So, and all the pictures are down and the place is a mess and furniture's all moved around and everything, but Arlene's done an outstanding job. She's done it herself. And uh, she actually patched some of the, um, some of the skim coat and um, sanded it down and did a lot. Now, what is that? Is that a, oh, it's a nail for holding a picture yeah. of those two pieces. Okay, a couple more tidbits of information. Um, our unit is upgraded. We have a oven, which normally the units only come with a stovetop. And then in addition to that, we have a washer dryer. The couch is an upgrade. And we have a second set of uh, rental furniture. The, the furniture package is a standardized package that Candy likes you to use in case if you're going to put your unit in their rental program. So all in all, um, this unit would sell for approximately 10 with, with tax, you know, all the fees and everything else, documentation, notarization, et cetera, probably 10, three, 10, four, somewhere around in there. Um, and I'll put that down below, uh, for those of you that are wondering, I think the last time I looked to rent a two bedroom, two bath, uh, unit here standard, I think was somewhere 55, 65,000 pesos a month. I don't remember. And the HOA fee here is 10,000 a month. Um, and it's a fairly in a energy efficient unit. So look, before we go, do us a favor. If you appreciate the effort that we put forward, producing these videos and content for you, please 
do subscribe and hit that thumbs up. Part two will come out in the next video. This one's long enough already, but you'll see the finished product and even get some words of wisdom out of Orlando.